Alright. I'm gonna try actually keeping like this. I have been mulligating spells sitting against Druid. I think that based on some feedback from people that may be incorrect. Boom. We'll pull this freezing trap, upgrade the spell stone. Why did Subject 9 perform so poorly this weekend? I wouldn't say that it performed all that poorly. If you look at the decks that actually qualified, there were multiple lineups that did well with it. I mean, I do think that it was like the fourth deck for a lot of them. Why are you punching me in the face? No respect for Wandering Monster. Well. Pretty sweet uh, cards coming up in the new set, for sure. So it looks like my opponent is, in fact, tokens. Nourish and Fire Law. I have a Freezing Trap up. I think I'm just going to play the Houndmaster Shaw and attack. Just let this get Freezing Trapped. If my opponent has, like, a Spreading Plague, the Spellstone plus the board and the Spreading Plague is, is like, really good. Also, it's very good against, like, a Giggly Inventor. When does Kibler Family Friday return? <laughs> uh, unclear. Unclear. Replay it. Interesting. Ooh, subject nine. Kind of want to subject nine and attack subject nine into his guy. We'll get one, two, three, four. Tri yeah. So by doing this, we thin out our deck here. We're also better against a spreading plague than if we had just spell stone because we have fewer guys. We have the ability to spell stone. We can even like trap coin spell stone next turn if we had a spreading plague. Swipe. Okay. Spellstone. Mm hmm. But Socrates Johnson, thanks for the 17 month resub. Welcome back. Okay, so you're at 16. Like, next turn, Ultimate Infestation is like, a very potentially likely thing. With my opponent ramping so much. If he does Spreading Plague, he can actually Spreading Plague into Strongshell Scavenger, so that ends up being pretty ugly to actually Spellstone. I mean, I could just Bow, Hero Power, and Spellstone here. So... This is obviously not like the best possible play against an infestation. I'd rather go super wide, but yeah, there's infestation. He can't hit my bear shark. So by not providing him with another thing, now he's at 12 and we have this plus kill command. So he's dead. So we, we wanted to create a, a, a board that was, that was best against what he could possibly have and didn't want, he wanted to get as much damage in as possible against an ultimate infestation by creating the window to lethal in that turn and not give him a board that he can play Spreading Plague into. It's interesting, like, keeping the Spellstone then just never playing it because there wasn't a good opportunity. Alright, we're gonna full ball again this. Spellstone by itself I don't like as a keep against Druid anyway. As we saw in that last game, it can be a card that's difficult to actually find an opportunity to play against them. Hello, Wanderer. Why not keep Mossy? I think it's more important that I'm able to pressure my opponent than keep a uh, reactive tool to his reactive card that I'm trying to neutralize anyway. What matchup do I keep Death in except a uh, Warrior? Uh, I would keep it against any mage. It's very valuable control mage, and it's also uh, a powerful tool against uh, tempo mage. Hmm. Suspect that he has a spellstone, considering he got armor there. Okay. It's not a very good guy to freezing trap. It does pump this though, and lets us crack the razor maw here. Can't just houndmaster this too. It's an awkward position having freezing trap up here though, so I may actually want to houndmaster and trade into this because I don't want to get snake trap triggered when my opponent can just cast a spreading plague. 
same thing with like freezing this. If he has spreading plague, he gets to protect it from, with the freezing. So I think it's best for me to actually just hound master and kill his guy. It obviously kind of sucks, but the snake trap makes a uh, a spreading plague just too good there. Well, this is pretty powerful. If I do coin out a Secret Keeper, I can play three Secrets next turn, which makes this guy, f yeah. So this sets up a potential, even into Spreading Plague, like we triple Secret, this is a five power Secret Keeper, four power Secret Keeper, you know, we leave him with like a guy, and he can't play Spreading Plague into uh, anything. Ooh, okay, that's powerful. He took my worst guy, that's less powerful. That's good, too. Oh, oops. Right, his guy. Ah, we'll just freeze it. This is fine. I want to get the damage in anyway. It's just a ton of damage. Even if he has Spreading Plague this turn, we have a Venom Strike we're getting. We have a Rexar to play the following turn. Okay, that's not card that does enough. Moonfire? Okay. If this thing attacks, we get a bunch of stuff. It's not attacking. Okay. Well, interesting. Didn't really plan for him not attacking. <laughs> and having this. We can just attack attack Rexar to kill this guy. He has MC tech, so he's not a token deck, so we don't really need this particular uh, effect. And obviously, like, getting the dudes can be really valuable. I think we're doing it. Okay, it's working now. So, we have 9 on board, 10, 11, 12. He's already used a Moonfire. I can get Life Steal Rush on this guy, or Charge on this guy. I'll take this guy. I can take Taunt Poisonous, he can't kill it, right? Because he can't target it. There's a Freezing... For some reason, like, when this, like, reloaded, it just didn't actually give it to me, so... Alright, well, I can have Spreading Plague now, but I do have this guy, which he can't naturalize to punch me. Untargetable. Infestation. Okay. Infestation of my Secret Keeper, amusingly enough. So you're at 18. I have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, plus what this can offer. Moonfire that guy? The web unravels. Uh, do I have lethal? Yeah, if this gives us like Wind Fury, we have lethal. There we go. An easy target. Bam. Once again, we like never play a spell stone. That game, like our opponent just didn't have plague. Like we, you know, we're in a position where we're pretty vulnerable to plague, but my opponent just didn't have plague. Also got a little bit lucky that mind control tech hit my worst guy. I thought we were gonna be able to like, you know, push more uh, than we ended up doing, but the Malfurion, Ended up protecting the Secret Keeper, which made our Freezing Trap stuff kind of awkward, but the fact that we were never punished for our Snake Trap by a Spreading Plague meant that, you know, easy game.